Hey, colleague or friends, did you know that two different nibs are both called blue pumpkin? Which one is better? And what's the difference? Let's compare them together and find out all about blue pumpkin nibs. Blue pumpkin is one of the well-known and loved pointed nib among calligraphers where it has its own unique shape and color. Thanks to its unique design, blue pumpkin nibs can accommodate a lot of ink. In another word, you don't have to dip the pen too many times while writing. All nibs have their own flexibility, and blue pumpkin nibs are considered medium flex. It's flexible, but not as much as Bras Rose or Bras 66 EF. Because the point of the nib is not too sharp, it's a great nib to use for writing on a texture surfaces like the handmade papers. There are two different nibs, made by two different companies, which are both referred to as blue pumpkin. Bras 361 Steno Nib and Leonard Number no. 40 Nib, also known as Hero. For your information, the names of the manufacturers can be found on the body of each nib. I've noticed how the Bras Steno might be more of a standard nib when we talk about blue pumpkin in general. There are several pointed pen nib samplers from John Neal, and the most essential and small nib sampler carries 11 nibs in total, including Bras Steno. In this bigger sampler, among 30 nib selections, both Bras and Hero are included. Let's look closely at the shape of the two nibs first. Bra Steno seems to be much taller than the Hero. It's totally personal taste, but the blue color for the Hero seems brighter and prettier in my opinion. When we look closely, the gap right here is wider on Hero. Notice the bump on the neck of the nib is much more exaggerated on the Hero. Personally, this bump has been a key feature where I can quickly distinguish which blue pumpkin it is. Also on the side view, Hero seems to have a more curved in shape. Just to make the comparison more helpful, I've added the popular Nico G and Hunt 22 into the group. As you can see, Hero and Nico G seems to have almost the same height. So, Bra Steno is the tallest of all. Let's try to write with each nib to compare the flexibility. Before writing, we need to prep the nib. We have to get the clear coating off, which is applied from the factory to preserve the longevity of the nib's storage life. Otherwise, the ink won't stick and flow nicely onto the nib. My favorite way to prep a nib is with a potato. You can simply use regular household potato. First, you hold the nib by flipping it, and when you slowly insert the nib into the potato, never insert it straight down, but at an angle like so. This way, you can prevent the tines from becoming misaligned. The thing is, I kept hearing a small crackling sound as I used the potato method. After a few attempts, I started to use the Windex method to prep the nibs. For Windex method, just swirl it around in a jar of Windex and wipe it clean. That's it! This way, I didn't have to worry about the possibility of ruining the tines. Here, I'm using Moon Palace Sumi ink. It's my all-time favorite black ink. I personally love the flow, even the unique smell, the sheen, and how it becomes water resistant after it dries out. And here's some useful tips. Always dip the nib until the eye of the nib is fully covered. Let's give vermilion ink a try. I personally don't like using such bright orange color, but vermilion ink is just smooth as butter. I absolutely love doing my practice with this ink. Here's the final showdown of the comparison. 
I've tried to write basic strokes to test out the thinnest hair lines and the heavy down strokes for each nib. It is quite obvious that blue pumpkin nibs don't give you as fine hairline as Nico G. Again, I wrote the word minimum and hello to make the comparison more easier. What do you think? Do you see a significant difference between two blue pumpkins? To be honest, I can't seem to find a huge difference between the two nibs. One of the colleague friend told me once that, in her area, brass steno is 10 times more expensive than the hero. Can you believe it? 10 times. In such cases, I wish to advise that you don't need to seek out bras since I don't think it creates that much of a difference. Please let me know how you feel about the two different blue pumpkin nibs and if you prefer one over the other. Hope this video helped you to demystify the two blue pumpkin nibs. If you enjoyed the video and wish to support your fellow calligrapher, please hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching! Until next time, happy writing!